In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve for Saul, whom I have rejected as king of Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, for I have chosen my king from among his sons. But Samuel replied, how can I go? Saul will hear of it and kill me. To this, the Lord answered, Take a heifer along and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I myself will tell you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I point out to you. Samuel did as the Lord had commanded him. When he entered Bethlehem, the elders of the city came trembling to meet him and inquired, Is your visit peaceful, O seer? He replied, Yes, 
I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. So cleanse yourselves and join me today for the banquet. He also had Jesse and his sons cleanse themselves and invited them to the sacrifice. As they came, he looked for Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is here before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature, because I have rejected him. Not as man sees, thus God see, because he sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and presented him before Samuel, who said, The Lord has not chosen him. Next, Jesse presented Shema, but Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen him this one either. In the same way, Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any one of this. Then Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, There is still the youngest who is tending the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. He will, we will not begin the sacrificial banquet until he arrives here. Jesse went and had the young man brought to them. He was ruddy, a youth handsome to behold, and making a splendid appearance. The Lord said, There, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel, with a horn of oil in hand, anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. When Samuel took his leave, he went to Ramah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have found David, my servant. I have found David, my servant. Once you spoke in a vision, and your faithful ones, you said, On a champion I have placed a crown. Over the people I have set a youth. I have found David, my servant. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil, I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. I have found David, my servant. He shall say to me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior, and I will make him the firstborn, highest of the kings of the earth. I have found David, my servant. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God 
when Abiathar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priests could lawfully eat and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Jesus gave a powerful message towards the end of our Gospel today. The Son of Man is Lord even on the Sabbath. Madalas po ay baka nakakalimutan ng mga pariseyo o ng mga tao generally during that time na kilalanin ang Diyos ay Diyos hindi lamang sa pagsamba kundi hanggang sa bunga ng kanilang pagsamba. The Lord is Lord from our worship and even from the fruits of our worship. He is Lord every day at every decision that we make, at every action, and even at every situation of our lives. If we will try to look back on how the Lord chose David as king, he reminded Samuel to choose a king, not with the vision of man, but with the vision of God. To choose someone not from the looks, but from the heart. And to do such, one beautiful backbone, one beautiful source of everything, is to know that God is Lord, even at the moments that we discern, at the moments we choose and live with our own decisions. Hindi lang po siya Diyos dito sa loob ng simbahan na ating kinatatayuan, kundi Diyos siya na maglilinaw kung ano nga ba yung pinagdesisyonan natin at sa mga gagawin nating mga kilos. My dear brothers and sisters, it is a good reminder not to segmentize the Lord. Diyos ko lang siya kapag nasa simbahan ako. Diyos lang siya kapag ako ay may problema. Diyos lang siya kapag araw ng linggo. Diyos lang siya kapag ako ay masaya. As if the Lord is chopped into segments in our lives. But my dear brothers and sisters, every time is for Him. Lahat at ang bawat oras ay sa Diyos. He is Lord even on the Sabbath. He is Lord from the church down to the simplest activities of our daily life. As we worship, as we decide, and as we live, He is always Lord. Because the backbone of every good decision of every good action and of every good re realization is not a segmentized acknowledgement of the Lord. But the Lord who is part of our everyday, part of our every decision and of our every action. This God is not only in some, but the God who is every day and everywhere. He is God in our worship. He is God in our decisions. And He is God in our actions. My dear friends, let us not fall into, into the trap by segmentizing the Lord. But from the time that we worship, from the time that we decide when we live and be charitable, it is always the Lord and will always be 
with the Lord. Please stand. Let us pray to God our Father, who has called us all His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. For every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and ways to serve God and people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That legislators everywhere may make laws that are humane and serve the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may never put law above people, but practice first the great commandment of loving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that those who are worried of their sickness may find consolation and strength from those who care for them and love them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that eternal rest be upon our beloved dead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we lift up to the Lord all the prayers offered in this Mass, the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming and our own intentions. For all of these we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to guide and be guided. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirits of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>